again, I'm going to get my hair done. Nothing really serious, just to trim. My ends look horrible. I totally forgot I had a hair appointment. I got in the shower, started washing my hair, realized I was out of shampoo, then also remembered I have a hair appointment today. I don't even have to wash my hair. So I just have wet hair for no good reason that isn't clean. So I'm gonna go get my hair done and then we're gonna talk about how I'm changing my way of eating. <laughs> I left there with a lot less hair than I anticipated. <laughs> so when I got there, my hair was down to here, guys. My hair has grown so much. It looked horrible on the ends. It really, it needed this, but I did not anticipate losing this much hair. But it already, it looks so much better. It's not styled, but it just looks way healthier. The ends, they just looked awful. We're just, I can't believe I, that's, I mean, I cut six inches off probably. Oh my God. This is the shortest my hair's been in a long time. My husband's gonna freak out. Oh well, we'll all get over it. So, I'm having to change the way that I eat a little bit. I'm gonna kind of talk you guys through that so you can know what to expect in the next few what I eat in a day vlogs because they may look a bit different than they normally do. Um, Just because health is, health reasons um but i'll get to that in a minute first i'm drinking my electrolytes that's another thing i'm increasing my electrolytes so normally i drink two a day i'm gonna try and get three in a day just to boost my salt intake <coughs> i normally put my electrolytes in 40 ounces this is only it's a lot less and whoa lodi they are so sweet if I don't dilute them. That's the quickest way to get them in. So I'm gonna, it's gonna be fine. <coughs> so of course I use Element Electrolytes. I have for a long time. I love their flavors. I love the high sodium content. So there's a thousand milligrams of sodium in there. There's potassium and magnesium as well. I use them on food too. I'm actually maybe gonna use them in a recipe today. I don't know, we're gonna, it's a test recipe. I'm gonna show you guys yet, maybe in the next vlog. But that's one thing I'm going to do is increase my salt. And the easiest way for me to do that is with high sodium electrolytes like Element. You guys know I work with Element all the time and there's a good reason. There's no sugar, sweet with stevia, uh, no color or weird things in there. It's just really good, well-made electrolytes that taste fantastic. I like to mix mine with sparkling water because that gives me like a soda feel. Uh, without drinking a soda because I try my best to stay away from the diet sodas they call to me I'm not even gonna lie so this is a really good option if any of you struggle with the getting rid of soda in your life too try the element electrolytes and sparkling water I promise you you're gonna love them as usual if you use my link on the screen or in the description element will send you a free sample pack of eight different flavors for you to try with any purchase so if you're needing to up your salt intake or you just want some tasty electrolytes or you need a diet soda replacement check out element in the description thanks again to element for sponsoring today's video how am i changing how i eat um well the main thing is i've got to be a little bit more strict about what i allow to creep into my keto vor meat based animal based whatever and i've been a little lazy um with everything that's going on with increased stress decreased sleep and my autoimmune disease is in remission and i'm not on any medications but i can't get lazy i have to keep uh, my health a top priority and one of the things that keeps me the healthiest is eating carnivore not ketovore not flexible ketovore not keto carnivore so I'm going back to five days a week carnivore and then two flex days like I used to do um, and that is everything like tomatoes onions that sort of thing any kind of vegetable uh, specific types of cheeses and I'm gonna try to bring in more seafood, which I've been trying to do already, but today I'm gonna try and cook some salmon and see how it goes. Uh, along with 
just eating meat. I want to make sure I am eating the best possible meat out there. I cannot get lazy right now. I cannot afford to get sick. Uh, for me, myself, my husband, my kids, I have to clean it up. Um, and that is easier said than done. But I am going to be 90% carnivore basically for the next month. So all of July, um, with the exception of like a flex day here and there, I'm going to try to just be carnivore and maybe only have four flex days in the month. Um, we're we're going to see how it goes. I'm also going to um, try to go to bed at a decent time. I've been pushing my body to uh, the point of, you know, it's just not enough sleep. I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm going to bed late and then I still have to wake up with the babies. So... <laughs> I've got to be more conscious of how I'm treating my body, how I'm treating my mind. Um, I have to get back into meditation. I have to get back into reading the Bible. I have to get right back into um, keeping my peace, stoicism, all the things that I've been doing for the past almost four years that have helped me, my mental health, my physical health, everything, honestly. I have to get better. <clears throat> At remembering that I'm not you know I have an autoimmune disease it's not completely gone it will be in my body forever uh, I have to take care of myself for me for everyone in my family um, because if I'm down then that puts a stress on everyone and I just cannot I can't let myself wallow and eat my feelings like, I'm going to be very honest today, um, Ken is not here. He is recording his Audible book, which I'll link in the description, the paperback copy. You can get it on Amazon, but they're recording the Audible version this week. And he's not here, and there was a big part of me that wanted to go down to the Dollar General and pick up some chips and dip. And I don't mean carnivore crisps. I mean Doritos and fake cheese chili dip and like all the th all my comfort foods those are my comfort foods my comfort foods are not sweet they are the chips and the dips and, and the the truly heinously junk junky food highly palatable eat the whole bag i could binge i could put some people to shame binge eating um I, that i i can totally binge on those type of foods um but i didn't but I wanted to, I still want to, right now I want to go get the junkiest food down the chip aisle and eat it and eat it and eat it and, and just eat my feelings. That's what I want to do, but I'm not going to allow myself to do that because I don't want to get sick again. I don't want to feel like crap again. I don't want to be in pain. I don't want the side effects that come along with eating my comfort food that doesn't actually comfort my body at all. It puts it into chaos and stress so I just really want to uh, let you guys know like I'm not I'm still I still every day have to wake up and be conscious about what I put in my body I'm not perfect I still have temptations it's much easier these days than it used to be especially I have the carnivore crisps um, that are you know dehydrated chips of meat that I can dip into salsa and ranch and those kind of things. So that helps a lot. But they, you know, there are still days where that's not gonna cut it for my brain. It's just gonna be like one bag. Just go get a bag of Doritos. No one's gonna know. It doesn't matter. One bag's not gonna hurt kill you. It's not true. <laughs> if I just eat one bag, I will want another bag and it will just continue until before I know it, you know. <clears throat> I'm sick so that's where I am on how I'm eating and I'll be sharing some maybe new recipes with you guys I can't believe I like that's so much shorter but it looks I think it looks better honestly and my curls if I put some product in here I think they'll bounce into action so squirrel sorry about that anyways I'm going to get in here and try a new recipe. And all of July, I will be trying to be carnivore 99% of the time. 
95% of the time. I gotta clean it up. I've let the sneaky sneaks come in and I cannot, I cannot do that. I'm sure some of you are, have struggled with this too. There are just moments where it just sounds fine, right? Your brain just, just self-sabotage, right? It's just, I know that the junk food is not gonna make me feel better. But there's a part of me that's like, well, for a minute, it would. For a minute. But that minute is not worth a month of me having side effects and or or catching, you know, strep throat or like whatever's going around at the time. It's not worth it. I gotta get my act together. Anyways, uh, thanks for listening to my heart to heart chat. If you're going through something similar, leave it in the comments. Uh, tell me how you deal with cravings and comfort food and that sort of thing. If you have some tips and tricks, feel free to drop them in the comment section. Love to read your comments. Okay, so I'm starving. I haven't eaten today. This is another thing I'm doing is fasting. Um, so it's two o'clock and I haven't eaten since uh, eight o'clock last night. So that's pretty good fast. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, maybe I'll see you in the next one. Hit the thumb on your way out. Love you, mean it. Bye.